Hey guys, Tim here, Post Falls Honey Company. Nuke, 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 uh, right there. So, uh, it's split time, making splits, um, but um, as you guys saw in the last video, I had some queenless colonies. I don't remember if I put that video on yet. So I had a couple of queenless colonies. They were swarms um, that you... Uh, that I caught from last year, and you never know what queen you're getting with the um, swarms. You don't know, obviously, you're getting the old queen. And so um, I had a couple of queenless colonies, and so I broke them down. In fact, I've got three other queens coming, and these are just for me. These aren't for any of the nukes that I make that I sell to you guys. Who, if you guys buy my nukes, um, all of mine are naturally mated. So. Uh, this is uh, their rear in their own egg frame, egg frame, but uh, egg frame, all of them, except for the ones that I wrote in a different marker. So this is Pacific Northwest Kearney. Those are SAS. These are, that was a split off the co-pilot swarm, blue. And so I did that for myself uh, because that's, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping the one over there, the little nuke on the end. Uh, I'm at the south yard. And one more I'm going to put... Uh, new queen into so I went and I got some new queens from a buddy of mine and I'm not going to say where they're from at all um, stand by to get these bees off here I'm not gonna say where they're from but this is a Saskatraz queen I have three of them that I'm installing uh, they are beautiful, beautiful, very, very high-end queens. If the guy watching, uh, if the if you're watching, you know where I got these bees, these queens from. If you're watching and you want to say something about it, you're more than welcome to. But I'm not going to say where I got these because they're, um, in my opinion, fairly high-end bees. And so I just want to see if they're going to take. So this is another queenless colony, but no egg frames. And so this is from the Dalton split. So was that one, and that was from the co-pilot swarm. So I'm putting these bees in. I'm also going to go back to the other yard. So I have one more queenless colony that I'm breaking up into smaller colonies. And I have two uh, Cordovans, two more Cordovans coming from um, Conan. And so I'm going to go up and make those. But let's see. I want to show you guys what it looks like when a queenless colony uh, gets a queen introduced. So let me cut this box open, and here we go. So I just dropped in one queen over there and they weren't, uh, they, they were pretty happy with her. Um, I did tape the end of it so that they wouldn't let her loose so quick. But look at here, look at these girls fan this queen. I just put, there's the queens, the cages right here. And look at these girls just fan this queen, watch this. Just move them right off of there. No one's stinging, no one's biting. Oh, they're so happy right now. They love her. Everyone just went crazy as soon as I put her on top of these frames. So let's see, I'm going to take her out real quick so I can have a look. No one... No one's biting at her. No one's stinging. Everyone's butts are in the air, fanning. Awesome. So I am going to tape that end, give her another day, and then I'll re let them release her after that. But looking good. So I just put her on the top right here. So these, there's a couple of her attendants were on there. But now the rest of the colony is coming out to check it out. And so what you don't want to see is you don't want to see like them biting at her and trying to sting her. You want to see butts in the air. You want to see fanning. You want to see that they're very happy with the queen that they've got in here. You guys see that all right? 
See these girls fanning right here? No one's got their butts down on the... See how easily I can move them? No one's got their butts down in the cage trying to bite her or sting her. Honestly, what you're looking for. They love her. Look at this one on my hand right here. Smell, they smell the queen. Whoops, my finger's in the way, sorry. They smell the queen, and they're just fanning like crazy. Look at this girl on my finger here fanning like crazy. And so that's what you want to see. So I'm just dropping these queens in here. Again, these are Saskatraz bees uh, from a very, very uh, reputable queen grafter. They are mated queens. Yeah, they're pretty into her. Cool. So I am going to tape them. Uh, and so by that, what I mean is... See that sugar cork right there at the end of it? That's a 24 hour release cork. I'm going to put a piece of tape on there and give them an extra day. I'll take it off tomorrow and then give them the 24 hours to chew through it. They look pretty happy though. All right, I'm gonna put the, turn this off beautiful queens and so if hopefully they all take and if they do um, I'll get some video of them okay so all I did again was just took a piece of this gorilla tape and uh, cut it into just a thin little strip that'll cover the end of that cork so they can't get in there and chew the cork out of there but see that fanning like they're doing like that Man, there's no fighting going on. They're not trying to sting this queen. But you always want to be careful. You know, you want to be careful with um, introducing. And so if I can give them just an extra day of them getting used to the smell of this queen in there, I'm going to do it. They can still feed her through there. No biggie. And we'll just see what happens. I mean, shoot, if I get two out of three to take, I'd be happy. So... I'm going to cover them back up. It's supposed to get breezy tonight. And uh, I'm going to actually check that one over there one more time. And uh, it's supposed to get breezy tonight. And um, so I'm going to tape everybody and get some bricks on them. And we'll check them tomorrow or the next day. I've got bees following me all over the place, as you can see. Um, they're landing all over me. Uh, and it's the attendants that were with those queens. Because I smell like them. That's the smells on my hands. And so I'll probably, before I go up to the other yard, I'll torch my, I'll fire up the smoker and hit my gloves real good. Um, but I wanted to show you um, kind of what I was talking about. So um, the other two are taped up, both the queens are in. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. So when you put these queens in, when you install a new queen, look at that, look at how happy they are. When you install a new queen, so I have space in between here. So see the space that I'm talking about between the top of the lid. There's like an, uh, that's a one by, just an inch, uh, one by one. But it's space that allows them to still be up here on the queen. So see, they're still on her. So if you can watch this, I can move them. Now see, there is a little bit of issue here. They were excited at first, but now I see like this one wanting to sting and bite a little bit right there. So that's why you want you don't want to release too quick because if you release too quick, they're going to ball your queen up and kill her. And so you want to wait and get that smell of her in there and just let them do their thing. She'll be okay. So we got some with butts in the air fanning and then other ones 
and I want to see what's going on. And so it's going to take, because these guys have been queenless for a while, they should take pretty quick, but you want to just give them the right amount of time to settle in with her new smell in the colony, in the hive there. And you know what? Hopefully she takes. I've had queens that haven't. It just happens. But hopefully she does. But anyway, I wanted to show you that. So all I do is just have her kind of wedged right in between those two frames, but enough room so that the bees can still get to her. To feed her. Keep her warm. So I'm gonna cover them back up, tape them up, and uh, leave them for a day. Then I'll uncork. I'll take that piece of tape off. You can see that piece of tape maybe down on that cage right there. There it is, see that black? I've just got it taped right there. So just leave that alone. Let's head up to the other yard. Well, my phone died uh, on the way up to the yard, and so I didn't do anything except for break apart uh, another colony that actually, here's the queen right here. Uh, and she's just a junker. Uh, she's a drone layer. And I don't know what happened because she was laying really well. She was a pretty new queen. Um, she was laying pretty well last year. And this year, she's just laying all drones. And so I went up, I broke that colony apart. There was little cr clusters of drone comb, like about the size of your hand, not even the size of my palm. But nothing else. Like all the rest of my colonies are just boomers, except for the two. And uh, so I went up and I broke her apart, went through all the frames and took out all of the drone brood just because I didn't want that drone brood hatching and need more drones. Um, especially little junk drones coming from this queen that ain't good to have um, in my yard. So um, all I did was break them apart. I left half the bees in the eight frame colony and I've got the other half of the bees in a nuke in my truck um four frames is all four frame nuke and um it was a small little colony because she hadn't been laying and so i'm just gonna run them home real quick the nuke home real quick and um once the queens get in here from conan uh one will just i'll requeen at the house and one i'll requeen out at the yard with cordovans and they're pretty laid back bees, so I think that they'll, it'll probably take. I'm not super worried about it. Um, but that's it. So sorry about uh, not seeing me uh, be able to do the breakdown of it. Um, I'm going to take these guys home, open them up. I think it's leaking back there. I see a couple of bees flying out. Um, I'm going to put that little bit of drone comb in the freezer and freeze it. And then you can just pop it. You can take your frame and just, you scratch the, the comb before you put it in, the drones before you put it in, and freeze them and then pop them uh, the next day and they just pop right out of there. So, um, but I, I might just throw those um, combs away and, and uh, those frames away and or just put new foundation in them, one of the two. So that's it, that's what I got. Um, you guys, thanks for watching and keep watching because I'll be keeping I'll be making more videos. So that's it. Tim, Post Falls Honey Company, signing off. And thanks for watching. Be good to each other. Check myself so well when I get in my truck, and all I can hear in here is bzz, 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 and I don't know where this bee is, but there's a bee in here. Um, that's what I got.